Good evening, Zero Gravity Gamers, and welcome to our third episode of Zero Gravity Madness. We apparently enjoy this so much that we're coming back for round three. I realize this is an incredibly informal podcast for all, what, 10, 12 viewers of you out there, but... We, we do this our... because we're mad. Yes. I was not funny or funny in the slightest. Hey, I thought hey. it was... Kind hey, of... now. Hey, hey, now. Hey, now. Haters always... gonna hate. I always feel like I'm out of the loop. I'm really, like, I feel like the lone, like, I feel like the kid's just good at Call of Duty. No, you de- you're definitely just as much in the loop as Blood Cooker. He just happens to be a lot better at BSing his way through the loop. <laughs> yep, <laughs> than it's you. true. Okay. Might be all those uh, <laughs> RP skills from d and I-, I just have to say, you put that extremely well. That was very fluent. And very oh. well said. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, well, enough of this madness. <laughs> uh, I'm Lucas <laughs> Stark, and would you two care to introduce yourself? No. I always go with third. <laughs> okay, fine. I guess I am, uh, I'm Blood Cooker. Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi, I- how are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. That's good. Who are you? Uh, my name is Josh, so me and my name is Jamal Cavalier, and I'm sick. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> Anyways, so, as par per intro, we have three questions for each of us. Three questions are, what are you usually doing at around 12 p.m.? <coughs> what is your browser of choice for browsing the internet? And what do you do to entertain yourself <laughs> while we record this podcast? Alright, so me first, because I'm the most important person in this podcast. <laughs> What are you usually doing at 12 p.m.? Uh, I am either sleeping, because I go to bed ridiculously early compared to a lot of people I know. (coughs) Josh. Um, Or I am hating my life through Moon on Black Ops Zombies with (laughs) J-Mole, because the mystery box is a grade A troll. Uh, My browser of choice? I like Firefox. Chrome is a good browser, Internet Explorer is meh, but Firefox is for me. Uh, finally, what do I do to entertain myself while I re-record this podcast? Actually, I really don't do much. I listen to the conversation and I think about the next topics coming up because I'm the formal person doing this podcast. Yay! You are the host. Yes, yeah. I am the host. Okay. Well, since I said my name next in the actual stuff, um, what are you usually doing at 12 p.m.? Well, that either includes me playing a game of League of Legends with some friends... Um, or playing Minecraft, not usually sleeping. <clears throat> That's about it. Um, browser of choice? Well, let's see. Okay, so, Firefox is great, don't get me wrong, but my computer has some trouble running it sometimes. So, currently, I'm dual split using Firefox and Chrome. The only problem I have with Chrome is that when I try and load up a tab, like, <clears throat> for the first time, it totally, like, takes 10 years to load it. And then it loads everything else just fine, and it's really annoying. And Internet Explorer sucks. Okay, on Um, a side note, I would like to say that Chrome has a win warning message for in private browsing. (laughs) (laughs) I'll read you guys that when I get to when I get to that part. Okay. Um, And what do you do to entertain yourself while recording this podcast? Well, I stare at the Google Doc. That's what I do, and I'm currently twisting in my hands an Allen wrench. That is exciting. It is. I think, I think the way you guys answered those questions, I'm just going to sound like the coolest kid on the block now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what am I usually doing at 12 o'clock p.m.? Um, it's a toss-up between any number of games. I This year I have been getting to bed a little bit earlier, which is like really good for me, because last year I was running on like five or six hours of sleep, which is not recommended. <laughs> um <laughs> Most commonly, zombies or whatever single-player game I'm working my way through. Um, browser of choice, Chrome. I'm a die-hard Chrome fan. Chrome runs impeccably on my computer, and I have always kind of had a grudge against Internet Explorer. I think there's some repressed memories in my childhood with that <laughs> browser, so I'm just not going to go down that road. What's and that what's, What's that message you were talking oh, about? Oh, okay, okay the, the message. when And when you open up an incognito in Google, which is... Just a window that doesn't have a history. Um, so if you're 
when like, you're looking for secret stuff that you don't <laughs> want people to know about. Yeah. Um, so when you when you go into that mode, it says, going incognito doesn't affect the behavior of other people, servers, or software. Be wary of websites that collect or share information about you, internet service providers or employers that track the pages you visit, malicious software that tracks your keystrokes in exchange for free smileys, Surveillance by secret agents and people standing behind you. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Okay. A lot of the times I open up incognito windows just to read that before I go to YouTube or Facebook. <laughs> um, and what do I do to entertain myself while I record the podcast? I have played Minecraft on every single podcast that we have recorded so far. You should get fraps, and then we can always use your Minecraft as a background for I, some You stuff. know, I really have been thinking about getting fraps because I haven't had that much. Um, well, okay, maybe on fraps, because I know Blood Cooker's computer lags whenever he runs fraps. That's because of my hard drive. Oh, okay. That's the only bad thing about my computer. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know, because I've been playing a lot more Minecraft and a lot less... Xbox lately, so I don't know. We'll have to see. Dude, I don't know. Just Chrome in general has win messages. I was uh, recently refurbishing a laptop this weekend just as a side project for fun. Well, kind of for fun. And uh, I put I was throwing Chrome on that laptop just because that's my recommended browser of choice. Like I like Firefox, but that's my recommended browser of choice. And I downloaded it, and the top message from downloading Chrome is like, "You're awesome. Thanks for downloading Chrome." Dude, the other really good messages that you get is when, like, when the server page, like, lags out and it won't let you see what you were looking at. It'll be like, he's dead, Jim. It'll have a picture of, like, a dead pirate. <laughs> uh, so, all right. Bro, that's, That's fantastic. So uh, on to our next part is shoutouts to people. I sent out a challenge and some of you responded. Uh, the challenge was to leave a comment on our page and you get a shout out. So as par, we're going to go down the list for the people going me, Blood Cooker, and Jamal for the three different people that left comments on our page. So, in your best epic voice, and I'll try and edit it in to make it sound more epic. I am Cuzdown. Who commented first. I imagine he didn't even watch the video. Mr. Piesta 1. Apparently friends with Jamal Cavalier. And followed last, but not least, by Daniel59715. Again. And that one dude named Formal and Tixie. Informal. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's try that again. And that one dude named Informal Tuxedos, who is on this podcast. <laughs> what? Oh who is my that? Gosh. Oh, I may have accidentally revealed someone's secret identity. Man, what kind of a Let's quit. Let's hurry up and move that? over to news before someone figures out. Hmm? So oh, we just happened. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right. All right so uh, on our news lineup, we have a several stories. Uh, we got a lot of Battlefield Three, actually. We got some Battlefield Three DLC uh, beta, and again with the Apple, Verizon, Samsung crap that's going on. And personally, I'd like to talk a little bit about Gears Three. Do either of you two want to talk about the Minecraft 1.9, or is that? Uh, I've, about I've heard can... a little bit about it. I'll talk about Minecraft 1.9. All right, and so 1.8, because we haven't talked about 1.8 yet. Either. Oh, yeah, we oh. haven't. Ooh. You know what? This might be a longer podcast. Oh, We're already no. at uh, seven minutes. Anyways, so Battlefield 3 <laughs> downloadable content is exclusive on PSN first for the first week. Uh, I think that's a bad idea, DICE. Like, considering that PSN is kind of looking to screw the Xbox... You're in turn screwing your biggest fan base, which happens to be PC gamers. And PC gamers can usually be not very nice people online. <laughs> yeah, when you, you can say when you piss them off. Well, actually, just more so in general. But Dude, I don't know. I've run into some really cool people PC gaming. Oh, yeah. I think PC gaming makes up like the entire spectrum. Like, There's a lot of chill people, but there's also a ton of trolls. Mm-hmm. I think that statement is correct, but I think you're in no position to make that statement because <laughs> you can't play online gaming. Hey, you know what? I tried to play Team Fortress 2 the other day, and there was some... Actually, yeah, you're right. 
<laughs> but still, <laughs> I think down. from what I've seen on like forums and stuff like that, I think. Okay. <clears throat> uh, yeah, no, I think that's a terrible idea, Dice. I, you're doing it anyways yeah, because I mean, like, PSN offered you a large sum of money, but I'm interrupting J-Mole. <laughs> Actually, well, I'm not I... interrupting him. He's trying to cut in on this conversation, and I'm not letting him. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say, like, I think DICE has to realize that, like, their biggest fan base is coming from the PC, and then Xbox, and then PSN. And, like, that, just, that decision, like, yeah, you're getting money, but the profit that you could potentially lose, like, is way greater than whatever amount of money that PSN is offering you. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. All right, do you have any last thoughts on this blood cooker? Nope. All righty, on to the next Battlefield 3 piece of news. The beta is coming out this week. That is currently coming out on the 29th for people who did not pre-order it or buy uh, that one game, Medal Medal of Honor. Honor. (laughs) Or buy Medal of Honor. So I know I've been really wanting Battlefield 3 beta because I'm kind of getting sick of playing zombies with J-Mole. And I've been wanting an online game. So I'm excited for that. I want to see. I want to see the pretty surroundings and like the bridges, and they're like, oh, they're so pretty. And then I want to put C far all over them and just blow them up. Good call. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was good. Yeah, I know, right? That's really just a piece of news. I'm just saying I'm excited for it. Blood Cooker wants to blow stuff up, and JML's opinion doesn't matter. So we're moving on to Verizon is defending Samsung in their suit against Apple. <gasps> Ooh, dude, you just got trolled. What? What? How? Dude, what? JML, are you even there? Dude, what? I'm just gonna take that shunning with a piece of salt and just kind of move on. <laughs> You are a win counter troll. Trying to ha ah, yes. <laughs> counter troll J Mole one elusive shark one. Oh yeah. The scoreboards have been even. Eh, we'll see about this. I be the moderator. <laughs> Anyways, ah uh, yeah, blood cooker the moderator. You, you remember the conversation? Anyways, we might explain that during oatmeal. We'll see. Uh, Verizon <laughs> defending Samsung. As you know, on our past podcast, we've been talking about. Apple suing the pants off everyone, and Samsung is responding with lawsuits to suing the pants off Apple, where they're trying to block sales of the iPhone 5, and apparently Verizon is backing them up, which is huge. So that is fairly Verizon big. has deep pockets. <laughs> That's the only reason it's big. <laughs> yeah. Well, the thing is, is the iPhone is not a very big selling phone on Verizon's network. The Android devices are a lot bigger, and if they were stopped in the U.S., or, yeah, but I think that also, like, a lot of people are still stuck on AT&T's plan, and they haven't been able to activate their iPhone on Verizon yet. Yeah, that is also so, a good point. Yeah. Oh, man, I love... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Be my guest. Personally, I'd like to say, this is dumb. I'm not a huge fan of Apple. I like some of their stuff. I dislike others of their stuff. But in a, all in all, it's the consumer that loses. I would like to have the option to go out and buy a Galaxy Tab or an iPad or the iPhone. I really think the more choices the consumers get and competition is a good thing. And mm-hmm. I think them trying to sue the pants off each other is just terrible for the consumer standpoint. I always think that big corporate battles are pretty lulzy, though. Oh, definitely. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like who can effectively troll and or counter troll the other one the best. It's like at some point Apple's just gonna have a rage quit and they're just gonna like say some outlandish stuff about Samsung and then have to pay like a federal fee for I don't know something. No, it's probably gonna turn out by them just like just like a giant sumo wrestler match where they're like trying to throw each other out and they just come to, <laughs> just come to terms and shake hands and be like, all right, we'll just come to a mutual agreement of this. I can totally see that happening. Probably going to be how it's turning out. Okay. Um, Next thing I want to talk about, Gears 3 came out last week, which gives you a little bit of time of uh, when this podcast was recorded. I'm not going to tell you the exact date, just because it might take me a week to edit this. I could tell you the exact... No, I'm just just kidding. I could edit you out. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Or trolling. Oh, man. That gives one more to uh, to Gizzard Shark. Yeah, 
So, uh, Gears 3, I'm currently halfway through the campaign. I like it. It's not my kind of... I don't really like the online that much. Horde mode is fun, and I think the campaign is solid. But if you guys actually want to hear a review for me, I will make one if you want. You just got to leave a comment below. Eee, squee face. <laughs> <laughs> what was that noise? I, <laughs> sorry, that was me. That was um, you? That wow. was me. Oh, my gosh. Are you jealous? Are, are you? Uh... Dude, that was a that was a weird noise. <laughs> are you jealous? That was, that was the smiley face noise. You know, the big like smiley. Oh, I thought you made that noise. That was your computer. yes. I did. I did make that noise. That came from your mouth. Yes. I could try and make it again if you want me to. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that came from your mouth. <laughs> oh god. All right. So, uh, final piece of news is. 1.8 came out from when we released the po- la, 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 last podcast, and uh, 1.9 is also coming out soon. So, you two hey. want to talk about it? Hey, oh, well, I, I think oh. that my, my credentials are the best since I'm the one that plays Minecraft way too much. Definitely. <laughs> um, 1.8 hey, all the time too, just one, for the record. Okay, well, <clears throat> you're stealing my time to shine, bro. Oh, go for it. Go for it. 1.8 has me back into Minecraft. Um, the last couple weeks, months, when we were on like 1.6, 1.7, uh, it was fun to get on the server and play with these two guys. But like as far as solo mode, just kind of running around and having fun, I wasn't that hooked. But 1.8 has totally changed that. I'm definitely enjoying the game a ton now that there's like the food meter and Enderman and all that fun stuff. So I'm really, I'm really liking this update. It definitely added a lot more playtime for me. Those are my thoughts. Someone else can counter. Control. Okay, well, I guess I guess I'll I'll go for it. Um, 1.8 is a fantastic patch. It's absolutely fan- It's just amazing. Um, I love the watermelons. The watermelons are hilarious. Mostly because um, right now I'm currently playing on a. <clears throat> um, let me think. It's a very public server, so we have about eight to ten people who regularly join. And there's kind of an economy going on, like, within the server, and we use different things, mostly gold, to, you know, do transactions. And so, <laughs> I was able to find a watermelon seed, and me and my friend have been farming at watermelons, and now everyone wants our watermelon. It's pretty much fantastic. And I'm really excited for 1.9, because Enderman won't be able to steal the blocks out of my castle wall! Woohoo! Retards. Really? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> the other great thing about 1.9 is the fact that Tyler hints. okay what I'm leading you in oh, okay <laughs> as uh, the fact that Notch is putting in snowmen he got bored and decided I'm adding a new mob that you can build and there's snowmen that suicidally throw snowballs at creepers and skeletons <laughs> You know what else? If you follow Notch on Twitter, you'll have noticed sometimes in the last two days, again, we're not disclosing when this was recorded for top security reasons. <laughs> he, he was in a bad mood, and everyone on Twitter told him to watch videos of baby animals, so he did, and it got him in the mood to try to add baby animals <laughs> into Minecraft. <laughs> and he leaked, a, he leaked a picture on Twitter, like... 20 minutes after that, and he's like, they won't stop spawning, and you just see, like, 200 sheep <laughs> right in front of him. So I thought that was pretty win as well. Dude, I love how Notch is, like, the owner of the company, and he quote, quote, leaks stuff. He's like, I may or may not have leaked 1.8. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you go to this form and check it out and tell me if anything's wrong with it? Oh, and P.S., feel bad about it. I think that's the one thing, like... That's what put mine, puts Minecraft above, like, all the other great games of our generation, is that, like, the people that made it are just so public about, like, what they're doing on the game and how they're influencing it. And it's just really, it's really fun to interact with them instead of having, like, Robert Bowling telling you to buy Modern Warfare 3. <laughs> oh, Robert Bowling. Yeah. Uh, gamer's favorite person to troll. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say gamers in general. I'd just say the uh, Call of Duty communities person to troll. Alright, so uh, that concludes news, and we're moving into everyone's favorite segment. We're moving into oatmeal. Yummy! Hey, oatmeal you know what that... is where oh, we had just have...
crazy conversations. What essentially oatmeal means is it comes out of an internet meme. We'll not mention which one, but it comes out of an internet meme, and it's just essentially another word for absolute madness. So here we go. You know, here. that reminded me of something. The other day, I woke up, and I smelled oatmeal, and it smelled like apple cinnamon. And that is my story. <laughs> that was, like, that's the quickest, like... It was touching. Like, I'm trying to remember the plot line from middle school. Like, <laughs> cool you're, story, like bro. You're, you're building evidence in your climax. Like, it all <laughs> took place within five seconds. It's unbelievable. <laughs> that was amazing. Yes. Oh, man. Okay, I think we're moving on now. So, uh, Jamal apparently wanted to troll both me and Blood Cooker, because I know Blood Cooker is uh, a pretty severe PC gamer. I'm a moderate PC gamer, and Jamal doesn't even touch that unless it's <laughs> Minecraft. Minecraft. Yeah. So, uh, his question to us, which he's going to start, which he is curious and both wants to argue about, is why would you spend around $1,500 plus on a gaming computer when you can spend around 300 bucks on an Xbox or PlayStation for those of you who actually care, but you know what? Really, Screw really it. PlayStation doesn't count. That's not a game <laughs> console. That is now a, that's a media center that happens to play games. That's like yeah, yeah, that's like declaring the iPod Touch plays games because it has Angry Birds. But there is one good game on it that I have to say, and it's Demon Souls. But anyways, <laughs> yeah, I know you heard that. <laughs> Ooh, we have a uh, background characters. Yeah, we do have a background character. I think background characters are the most underrated part of a successful <laughs> podcast. Oh yeah, we're definitely a successful podcast now because we yes. have background characters. You made me successful. <laughs> that was an epic voice crack too. <laughs> that was. That was pretty good. All right, so so to respond, uh, I mean, unless you want to clear up your your argument a little here, Jamal Cavalier. Is, the, is there anything else you would like to <clears throat> clarify? Okay, well, this is just stemming, I know, it must have been a couple weeks, maybe a month ago, that, um, you'll have to remind me what the computer was called, but there was, like, this $2,800 Alienware. Oh, it was, uh, it was... no, it was an <laughs> Alienware, it was, uh, the Switchblade by Razer. Yeah, it's, like, a $2,800 dual-core computer, like, the, and one of the comments on the forum that I was on, I thought it was, like, why would you buy this gaming computer when you could get, like, 10 Xboxes? <laughs> Which I, I think is a totally valid point. I'm just Why would you get 10 Xboxes that. if you could buy a Boss computer? I'm just... The point, the point I think that was trying <laughs> oh, to be made... The point that I was trying to be made is that, like, computers have their place as being browsers and Word document, Word processing, that kind of stuff. Whereas they don't necessarily have to have gaming, and you can get, like good gaming and good community for 300 bucks on an xbox good community no. so this this good community is tied <laughs> no, right I, off of your uh why do I mean, gamers no, suck no, no, so no, no, much no, no, rant what i mean is that like there is a community <laughs> not that it's a good one but it's there's plenty of games that you can hop on and play not necessarily that you're going to be treated with love and warmth when you log on <laughs> all right okay well well let me let me actually go through a little list here um, so we have the obvious, StarCraft II, Eastern Front, which is part of Company of Heroes, League of Legends, Diablo II, World of Tanks, Minecraft, Dawn of War II, I mean, the list goes on of how many games, and amazing games, may I put it, there are on a computer that are not on an Xbox 360. Now, that's not to say, I still think that first-person shooters... Are, and and controllers are meant for each other. They are like married. Oh man, dude, you you're gonna make a lot of people. I know. Angry with that I statement. know. All ten well, see, of our one listeners. Of, one of my one of my friends is actually he he hates controllers and he's he's mouse and keyboard. But yeah. either way, there's a bunch of games like tons of games that you can play on a computer that you cannot play on an Xbox, and. I don't know. I think that just everything... I mean, you get everything with a computer. You get the whole browsing. You get all these crazy, you know, things you can put on it. Xbox is like, hey, let me pop in a game. All right, I played the game. Um, I'm going to go eat food. That's about it. <laughs> I'm tempted to enter this conversation, <laughs> this argument, but it would be a two-on-one against j and I seem to talk a lot. No, go ahead. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm still not quite convinced, so if you've got a point to make, you should make it. Okay, so a huge point I'd like to make is the mod community. So these people 
are fans, and they're like, hey, I want to mod this game out. So you'll get, like, these huge studios that'll mod stuff out, and most of the time you can get these mods for free. There's apparently some pretty boss Battlefield uh, Bad Company 2 mods yeah. that you can get for free. There's uh, some pretty awesome mods that I've seen for Oblivion. COD 4. Let's see, what else is... Where's one that's uh, not a first-person shooter? StarCraft. Like, yes. this is just essentially, you buy a game, and then you get after support from the community who makes stuff that doesn't have to go through all this release crap that goes on the consoles. Hey, have you ever heard of Dota? That oh, game I don't is, think he has. <laughs> it's a mod based on, what was it, Warcraft 3? Yes. Yep. And apparently it was a really fantastic game, and League of Legends is based off of it. But anyways. Yeah, League of like, Legends is a huge that, game. That whole game is a mod. <laughs> and it's Which free. Is fantastic. Well, you could buy a subscription, but that's a different story. Yeah. And my final point that I'd like to point out is, dude, j Mole, PC gaming is driving the PC industry. Like, all these cool things that you're coming out with is, uh, like, these crazy graphics card and that i7 that you're looking at for your laptop. A lot of that is being driven by the gaming community. Yep. There was a recent StarCraft tournament, and NVIDIA sponsored it, and apparently they got a bunch of money off of it, too, so... It was pretty sweet. Well, I like. I guess it really just depends on the, on the person because, like, in my opinion, it's it's not even close to worth it to drop a ton of money just to have a computer that can play a certain amount of games and has mods. Because you could make the same argument for PlayStation versus Xbox. Like, Xbox has Gears of War and Halo, but does that mean that you shouldn't buy a PS3? Not necessarily, because PS3 has like God of War and Resistance. And there's much more that you can do than just play games. Yeah. <clears throat> like, you yourself want to do some video editing. That's what you're looking at in your new laptop. Yeah. Although, here's another thing, though. I, I know I brought this up earlier, but for me, my Xbox has broke so many times. Fortunately, every single time it was in a random warranty, and I got it sent in, and it came back, like, two months later. And I played it, and then it broke in another month, and that happened several times. But my computer, I mean, it's still going strong for, I think, almost three or four years now, something like that. And it's it's just amazing. And when a new game comes out, I just throw a new graphics card in it, and bam! I can play the game full graphics settings. Really? It's You're amazing. Con- I have trouble believing that you've had your computer for three to four years. Dude, because I remember like one of the first times I ever played with you... We were playing, like, the Medal of Honor beta, and that was the first time I'd ever played with you before, and that was not that long ago. Yeah. And that was when you were saying, I just ordered my computer, and Kyler was like, oh, I, was, I need How to long pitch. ago was that? I mean, oh, that was I was just throwing that, that out was, there. Uh, you know, I think you've probably had your computer about a year and a half, because yeah. I remember oh, I, I bought my... longer than that. No, dude, I definitely bought my new laptop, and then you're like, oh, totally got a new computer. Ordered it for like three hundred bucks on eBay. <laughs> Didn't have yeah, an okay. system. I told, yeah, that's the exact card. conversation that I'm. That's true. Of. Well, I guess I'm just a liar. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, I I'm bad with time. I guess so. Okay, so maybe a year and a half, but yeah, still, there you go. it's it's not breaking. Dude, how many times <laughs> did you upgrade your graphics card on that thing though? Once, no, twice. Is that it? In, blah, 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 blah. Is that including the time when you first bought your graphics card because your la- or desktop didn't come with one? I don't. Something like that. Yeah, I think so. So I've I've upgraded it once, and that was to get StarCraft on the settings. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. On good settings. Hmm. Water's delicious. Not drinking but, lemonade. No, not this oh. time. With graham crackers. <laughs> no, I already ate up my graham crackers. I have some more downstairs, but. I don't know. Okay, so maybe I did over exaggerate a little bit. But time time flies, man. I don't know. I've just had like my first Xbox lasted a good solid five years and I like it didn't even break. I just wanted to get one of the new ones for the hard drive. So that's that was my experience with Xbox and I mean like I was never ever a hardcore gamer before Call of Duty four and like I don't know. I don't think I would have had the same experiences on PC because, like, there's such a high learning curve. And, like, if you're not good at a game, you're really <laughs> not going to have that much fun unless you really put your mind to it. Well, dude, 
you have never played PC games. Like, I'm pretty sure the closest thing that you've played is Minecraft. Well, other than Minecraft, because I don't know what to think about Minecraft. But it's a community in <laughs> itself. Like, it's really interesting. I remember uh, when I really started getting into that PC gaming was uh, when I bought the orange box and, like, Half-Life 2 and stuff. I mean, Those I'm still a pretty boss. still a pretty casual PC gamer. The only online game that I play will be the occasional StarCraft. <laughs> of but, course. Yeah, no, dude, it's a it's a community in itself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, it's not like I'm, like, trying to stare you down and get you to concede that Xboxes are better. I'm just, like, curious why some people feel compelled to, like, buy a new computer every time a new game comes out. Well, I guess here's here's another it's point. It's a dick that, measuring contest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, like a small point is, I guess I'm a huge fan of RTSs, and there's no such thing as a good RTS on an Xbox. I agree. Oh, definitely. And uh, and then you got those people who I was referring to earlier, who uh, you know like to use a mouse and keyboard instead of a controller. Those those people are interesting. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm not, I'm not going to continue with that conversation. Yeah, we are. Uh, <laughs> we just hit 30 minutes, so we should probably wrap up pretty soon. Okay. Sounds right. good. So that uh, concludes Oatmeal over here. Uh, we have this section after Oatmeal every single time. Our one cool thing, starting with me. I mentioned this earlier. Snowman in 1.9. I just think that's hilarious. <laughs> There's these suicidal mobs that throw snowballs at creepers. It's like, hey, creeper. Get over here. Snowball. Death. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> That's amazing. And I guess it's my turn. So League of Legends Dominion um, is coming out, and the beta is going on like every so often. And it's a lot of fun. It's definitely a lot of fun. And I'm sure J. Mo Cavalier has no clue what I'm talking about. Nope. Awesome. <laughs> okay, I guess that's the goal now. of the podcast is to see how many topics we can throw out the Jamal. That's absolutely <laughs> <J -Mo. laughs> Thanks, guys. Okay, no my cool thing. Um, it kind of is like two for one. Um, if you guys don't know what Reddit is, I feel sorry for your souls. Like, whenever <laughs> I need to come up with one cool thing, I'm like, okay, Reddit. <laughs> and so, <laughs> something on Reddit when I got on earlier was. Just some regular old troll facing of some deer hunting cameras. So I'm going to leave it at that. If you guys want to know more and have a good laugh, check out that link. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it's... I do know what Reddit is, but I kind of avoid it because I know it's one of those websites that I'm going to be like, eh, eh, check it several times a day and be like, where's my life? <laughs> vanished on Reddit. Yep. I can see that happening. I think we all can. Oh, gee, thanks. <laughs> Sorry, man. You've trolled me too many times today. Dude, like, we, we, we've got a little troll relationship going back and forth. That's like, I troll you, you troll me. Pretty much. Keeping the counter on it. You know, that sounds like a Barney song. I troll you. <laughs> you troll me. Let's get together and... Good Lord, I haven't thought of it past that. Well... I Anyways, we should just, we should just add okay, it okay, out. okay. I have a challenge for you guys. If we can get five likes on the video, which means no bit di difference to this, I hate being a like whore, but just to make sure people are watching the video, if we can get, I will write up that song <laughs> <laughs> and sing it and sing it to the next podcast. Yes, and then all right. It. That is if you have to have it done before the next podcast. Which question? Uh, yes. Can answer. I? Can I like the video? Yes, you can like the video. Yes. You cannot make several accounts and like the video. Though. Dang it. Okay, and okay. from the last podcast, my offer still stands. If someone wants to play with me and you are not a dick, I will add you on my playlist. Okay, so uh, wrapping up, leave a comment, like the video, I will sing. We haven't decided on gameplay, so it's probably going to be some more terrorist hunt until you guys tell us to play something up like, show some more of Blood Cooker Starcraft 2. <laughs> you would bring that up. No, I'm just but, kidding. Because <laughs> you haven't released anything yet. Well, int, actually, int, actually, int. I'm, I'm gonna do that right now. Okay. All right. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Are we Hi. Goodbye. Uh. All right. So, um, let's see. Who took us out last time? Not me. Maybe me. I don't know. All right. I, no, I think it's Blood Cooker. All right, Jamal. Why don't you take us out? 
Sorry you had to put up with these two idiots for 30 minutes, but hopefully you enjoyed us arguing with each other. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya. Bye.